What's up everybody? We're out here with Shield Outdoors Dad. This is a property that he has permission to hunt. And uh, how many acres? 11? 10? 24. 24? Okay, 24 acres. So, it's all basically a gigantic field. There's a very small part in the back. Our very first time ever being here, I shot a super nice 11 pointer in the back. We actually, the very first time we ever came here, we took a little DR mower, like a brush mower, and we had to mow a path to the back. And that night, a deer got curious, walked out right in front of me, and I shot him. Left-handed, but still shot him. For the most part, this has been grass the last couple of years, and it's turning into a huge briar patch. It's no good. A lot of goldenrod, which is good. Goldenrod's good. But a bunch of Russian olive trees, a bunch of briars, a bunch of non-desirable brows. So, we are out here today. We're gonna try to get this property right. It's about two hours from our house, so we don't get to come out here often. We brought a billy goat. It's a billy goat. We got a billy goat, we got a mower, and uh, we're gonna do a no-till plot today. We have some plot 365, we have some brassica, and that's basically it. We're gonna try to mow, we're gonna glyphosate, let that dry up, and then we will do a no-till, and we'll, uh, I brought some stuff to do, a mock scrape, and a licking branch. So, we'll get that stuff, get it right, This is gonna look awesome. Okay, just checking in. So we absolutely destroyed this. It looks amazing. So what we did is we used the billy goat and then we used that little tiny riding mower and we mowed all this, oh, I don't know, five to six inches, which I think that's pretty good. We've already glyphosated, um, it's hard to see, but just past that little clump. So everything right here has been sprayed and it's gonna be our no-till. Now we're gonna use the Plot 365 and the Brassica Mix from Rackology, but while we're letting the glyphosate dry on the vegetation, now yes, we should have probably sprayed like two weeks from now, but we ain't got that kind of time. It's already almost the first week of September, hunting season's in a month, but anyway, so while we're letting the glyphosate dry, we're gonna get this ladder stand hung up. He already has one stand right there. In fact, let's get in it. Let's go up there. Killed my first deer from this stand, but on a different property. Okay. Yep, road right behind us. So this is everything we just mowed. Uh, about 150, 200 yards to the trailer over there that we left. Whew. So it's about 200 yards to that trailer. We've cleaned all this out. The landowner lives right here, about 100 yards, 200 yards. But the deer travel long ways across his property. This, you can't hardly tell, but this is actually some short vegetation that deer can still walk this edge. So all we've really sprayed is this. Yep. Oh yeah, that's gonna be the plot right there. This looks great, dude. This would be really good for filming. one bag of seed all right so I came up this super narrow path this has really grown up over the last couple years I haven't been here and uh, let's see I came out here for the very first time in 2016 I shot a buck that night and uh, I hunted here once in 2017 so I'll take you guys up here a little bit as you can see like this isn't even drivable really I mean there's nowhere to turn around after where I parked dude if you're gonna DR, um, wear some sleeves. So this is what everything looked like when I hunted back here that one time. And we borrowed the homeowner's DR mower, brush mower, and I literally made a path to here. And uh, I kind of cut this, it wasn't this open, it was only about two foot wide. And I went up that tree right there. 
and uh, first time ever being here. Like I had never even been on this property. Um, I worked all afternoon. I was smelled like sweat. And then out of this dead tree that is now fallen completely, a dead branch fell out, hit me in the face, hit me like right here, knocked me to the ground. I was bleeding. I walked back to the truck at like two, three o'clock in the afternoon. I got blood coming out of my head. Then I'm at the truck picking out pieces of bark out of my face. I came all the way back out here, climbed the tree, dropped my coat, my scent lock coat. So then I'm up in the tree getting cold. I had no coat. I was like, forget this. I'm not getting down, whatever. And then this beautiful buck came. He came right down this hill, came right down underneath me and I shot him right about where I'm standing at. Easy 15 yard shot. So that's the story time. Now what we're gonna do, he hunts back there and we're gonna make a clover plot um, up here, but we're gonna mow all this so that way the deer can walk it some new brows will come up naturally So he really wants this to be the next clover plot So we're gonna bush hog a bunch of this and he already has a stand Right there We didn't film as much up here, but we mowed all this with the brush mower and then that little cheap riding mower. We did a bunch of trails all the way up into there. This will be brassica. This is all glyphosate sprayed and uh, whoo, sprayed a bag of brassica. And then we did a bag of clover up there. If you are interested in rackology, you still have some time to plant your food plots. And if you use shield 15, you get 15 percent off. We're setting up one of those uh, little 180 cameras. And uh, I guess we'll just see. All right, this is what the old man will see when he's hunting here. He can see out into the woods a little bit. We do own, or the, pri the landowner owns down and up a little bit so he can shoot anything out this way. And then when the leaves come down, you might be able to see them, but you can't, the truck is literally 35 yards from us and you can't see it right now. He can see when they're coming down this trail right here, there is some clover right in here. And then this big old opening. I ended up finding a way to cut a trail right through there. And then on the other side of all this thickness is some uh, tall grass and some goldenrod. It's a little bit grown up, but the deer do have some pass through there, so. Overall thoughts for using a brush mower, the billy goat specifically, and then a lawn mower to do your uh, food plots, not so bad. As long as, as long as this seed gets below the thatch, I think it'll grow just fine. If you guys have ever experienced anything like that, drop a comment below. Let us know what your results were, and we will make a follow-up video, I'm sure, probably in the next two to three weeks, or at least during hunting season. I don't know, I got a baby coming. It's gonna mess up everything. Just kidding, I took all of October off. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stick around, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace. I'm kind of tired now. I think I'll go home. <laughs>